you want to win this M24 anti-tank grenade, all you have to do is make sure you comment down below, make sure you guys leave a like on this video, and make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel. If you follow those three steps, you'll be entered to win this anti-tank grenade in next week's video. All right, guys, so we're going to start this episode off by, we're going to be going back kind of in time here, and we're going to be going over some of the things that this mock series has created. So, We've done a lot that I feel like hasn't been noticed as much as it should be in this mock series. So we're going to start off by talking about some of the kits, some of the figures, some of the things fans have sent in, and just a little bit of the history behind this mock series. So first up, the very first kit that we started with was the, I believe it was the Rolls Royce, or was it the anti-aircraft gun? I can't remember which two. One of them came first. We'll move some figures out of the way here. For the moment let's start off with the rolls royce armored car here so we've got the armored car this was put together by my good buddy elliot i helped him refine it because if you guys know elliot lego guy 830 i believe it is on youtube make sure you go check out check out his channel he really is a great builder with military vehicles but he has one flaw he overcomplicates things a little bit too much no offense elliot but you know that and so I had to simplify a couple things on this to make it more user friendly to the fans and anybody that was buying it because it had to be, you know, I had to be able to make instructions for it and some of the connections he was doing between Lego pieces were, um, people call them illegal connections because they're not really technically, like, Lego pieces aren't supposed to go that way. So I was had to, you know, I had to simplify some things but overall this turned out great. I did some custom printing on there, we made some stickers. And this kit came together great. We made 50 of them, and they're selling great. So once again, I want, th want to thank Elliot, and I want to thank all of you guys that have purchased one of these. If you want one, link in the description. But it's one of those things, like, we don't realize how much work went into something like this. And then we not only have that, but we have a whole other kit. So we did the anti-aircraft gun, was designed by a fan, actually. And he messaged me on Facebook. Let's see if I can get this to, the studs to line up there. There we go. So a fan actually, let's see here, a fan actually messaged me on Facebook and was like, hey, I got this really nice anti-aircraft gun design, and the reason I wanted an anti-aircraft gun was because when I was playing Battlefield 1, I haven't played it in a while, by the way, but when I was playing it, this was like a very distinct weapon that I saw all over Sinai Desert that was shooting down aircraft, and it had that distinct sound that it makes you guys that play Battlefield 1, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It has this distinct like pump, 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 like it's a pom-pom gun. And it's a very cool kit. We were able to modify his design a little bit. I was able to simplify it a little bit so it was less pieces so it could be cheaper for you guys. I did all custom painting and a lot of you guys really like this. I'm starting to see some reviews of not only this but the Rolls Royce come up on YouTube and it's very awesome to see your guys' unboxings and um, reviews so make sure you guys like either let me know on Instagram or Twitter or Facebook or email me if you guys have done an unboxing not only just on these but I love watching your guys' unboxings on my orders or if you order on my website I think that's the coolest thing so make sure you guys tag me once again and so we were able to make this a kit we made a hundred of them they're actually almost sold out so make sure you guys check those out but it was a very cool kit and um, it's it's crazy to me that what we're 43 44 episodes in and we've made like three kits we're gonna get to the third one here in a second but we've made so many kits figures and so much cool stuff within this mock series so this is the third kit it is not out yet depending on when you're seeing this it might be out I don't really know I'm kinda of pre-recording these videos because you actually this video right now I'm filming on I think it's the 18th of June because I'm not gonna be around for the Sunday that this video goes up or even the next Sunday because I'll be at Brick Fiesta. So I'm having, having to pre-record two videos for you guys, which is a lot of work. And I had to pre-record like seven other videos to go up during the weeks. So this field gun kit, this was designed by Chetton, a good buddy of actually Elliot and mine. So Lego guy 1359, I believe it is on YouTube. One, 1259, I think it's 1259, maybe it's 1359, one of the two, check out his channel, great guy, he designed this for me, and I think there'll be a few, there'll be a whole review of this kit, the field gun kit, on this channel very shortly, I don't know when that'll go up, once again, I'm kind of filming all these videos in random, like, orders, I don't really know how they're going to be scheduled up on YouTube, however, there'll be a video going in depth just on this, but I wanted to briefly talk about it, so, Chetton designed this for me. He said, you know what, you can make it a kit. So we made it a kit. 
once again, it's one of those things. There's so many of them in Sinai Desert. Not only in Sinai Desert, but in Battlefield 1 in general. They're just everywhere in almost every map. So it goes hand in hand with the anti-aircraft gun. So I wanted to make this a kit because a lot of you guys wanted me to. And um, it's a very awesome kit. And uh, it'll eventually be available on the website. And then another thing, if I can reach back here. A fan sent in this awesome flame trooper. This was the coolest thing. I had to put on some fire because you got to have fire on the flame trooper. And this was the coolest thing. So once again, shout out to you, my man. Thank you for sending this in. And thank you for everybody that sends in fan mail. That's the coolest thing to me. It's very humbling to see that you guys take the time out of your day to not only send me something, but to write all these handwritten letters. It's very cool to read through. And I have a whole box of them. I do not throw them away. And I keep all of them. So thank you so much to that. So, guys, this was a very short video. Obviously, there's not too much progress. The only progress I can tell you guys is the field gun kit. And um, I might do a, a second cut to a clip of me talking about this a little bit more. But the field gun kit should be available within the coming week. And it, I don't have the price finalized yet. It's going to be around $12 to $15 is kind of the price range. So I wanted to keep it as cheap as possible. Same with the anti-aircraft gun, which is only $12. So... Trying to keep that price point low for you guys. And once again, I'll be making 100 of those. So make sure you guys check that out. I'm going to cut to some other clips. And we'll just see where this episode goes. It's kind of a weird episode, guys. But just bear with me. Side note, are you guys noticing how much better the lighting is? Make sure you guys take this pole up here. Let me know, is the lighting better? Yes or no? Right now, I have like two really bright lights shining down on here. And I think it looks really good. Let me know if it looks better. And if you can actually tell a difference. So let me know in that pole up there. All right, guys, we're going to be picking the winner from episode 42 of the Sinai Desert for the anti-tank grenade. So let's do this right here. One, two, and three. Sidekick 2169. Love your videos. Guess what sidekick you won the anti-tank grenade from episode 42 of the Sinai Desert. Make sure you personal message me here on YouTube with your full name, full address, zip code, and we can work this out and I can get this out to you as soon as possible. Make sure you personal message me here on YouTube. I will not reply anywhere else, so make sure you do it here through YouTube. If you don't know how to do that, make sure you're on a desktop computer. Go to my channel. Go to the About tab. Send message, do the following, bada bing, bada boom, Bob's your uncle, and you got yourself an anti-tank grenade. So, without further ado, guys, we're going to wrap up the video. Alright, guys, that's going to do it for this episode of the Sinai Desert. Make sure you check out last week's episode by clicking right there. Make sure you guys are subscribed to the YouTube channel right there. And make sure you guys check out the complete playlist for all the episodes of Sinai Desert right there. You can re-watch any of them you'd like. Thanks for watching, guys, and I hope you have a great and fantastic day.